people snap their fingers at you in a day. Just like ah! that. I'm lost! I'm lost! I'm... You shouldn't expect me to regard you if you can't express yourself properly. My speech is back. It has returned it! Yeah! Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Chacha Wabara. Thank you for doing this with me. Today we'll be reviewing a 2021 Nigerian movie titled Raz Guy. Um, you'll see actors and actresses like Lai Sisi. Um, you will see Nancy Sime, Frank Donga, uh, um, Broshage, and MC Lively, as well as other actors and actresses. It was directed by Udoka Onyeka. Yeah. So, don't get it twisted. Raz Guy is also you know let me just say take this review as raz reviewing because there was nothing to it i'm just going to say it from the beginning because i don't just even want to beat around the bush um, it was just um what's the storyline what's the plot the plot was nothing the storyline was just rubbish because um it started with this guy in the office like Sissy, who was nasty and mean to his colleagues to he was always a Mr. Know It All. He would be, um, you know, he would pick at every fault, every grammatical error, any typo, any typos, any um, erroneous typos, or anything at all, you know. And he would try to tell you to use your um, diction properly, use your grammar properly, put it, cross your T's, dot your I's, you know, put it in the right way, do the things, do the right things you're supposed to do, present it this way, do it this way, speak this grammar, speak this English. It was generally not too nice of a guy. And then uh, after some time, somebody now hits him with a curse, and whenever he opens his mouth, he starts to tiang. What is it, tiang? You know, speak English up, upside down. Then when I was in secondary school, we used to say Tiang. We used to call it Tiang. <laughs> you say, is, is I went to? Is I going to? Is I going to? Is I go to? You know, all those kind of mismatched, disjointed um, grammar that he would normally not take from other people was what was happening to him. Um, you have... Um, Broshagi Dev. For me, Broshagi's um, contribution in this movie, I don't understand. Then you have Adako, that Adako from Jennifer. She was there. Um, what's her name again? You've got her there. And, um, well, she tried to interpret her role. She was consistent in her role. And then Nansen Sime was consistent in her role and rather sweet and cute. Um... <sighs> And then Lysisi, because the whole thing was centering around Lysisi. Um, Lysisi did try, but um, I, I think I'm rather used to Lysisi um, ranting meaningfully or just ranting on on Instagram or do the short skits and all that. I, I can't, um, I really, I think maybe that was the bias there, but I, I not necessarily do. Um, seeing him act in a movie that was that is longer than an hour, well, he he tried as much as possible to interpret that role. But you know what what is the message? Don't be nasty. Don't be mean to people. Mm, well, okay, fine. Don't be nasty. Don't be mean to people. Um, something may happen. A cost may come. You know. And then we have. Um, <laughs> so, Ah, Nigerian movie, sure. There's the good, the bad, the ugly. We just take it as we see it. We just manage it. It's like food that is sweet today, tomorrow, another food will not be sweet, you know. It, it, it's um, Nigerian movies, you know. Nigerian actors, actresses, producers, director, the movie crew, the screen write, the script writers, you know, they, they something needs to 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 give. Um, the Nigerian, the Nollywood has been there for a while now. I'm actually upset because you can see the Korean film industry is 
actually overtaking the world because they keep on imp trying to improve upon themselves. And you can't tell me that the Nigerian, the Nigerian counterpart cannot improve upon themselves. It's, 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 it's unacceptable. It's something that I cannot really wrap my head around it because it, I'm, I'm upset. Udo Konyeka, you cannot be giving us this kind of thing right now. You know, if there's some Korean dramas, movies, even Mexican movies that were produced, you know, were done in um, 1998, in um, 2012, in um, 2018, you know, that feel like they were just done in 2023, you know, because it was, it, it, it had, it has, it still, it has that vividness, it has that electricity, it has that, that um, modern thing to it so what is going on there's some things that we shouldn't be seeing on our screen i'm serious and i don't know it's like um netflix ninja or what you know they are really lowering the standard because i really don't understand i do not understand i'll be i'll, I'll be giving this movie no rating at all or not two let me just wait it to make it not be like see Okay, I'll be rating it a two. The cinematography was just there. Um, it was just scattered. The 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 film the uh, film quality was a bit grainy. It was um, a very low quality, very low quality movie, um, which I didn't just care for at all. It's not something I would really um, encourage you to see. As a matter of fact, well, you can see it. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button or turn off your bell notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'll see you next time. Hope that you see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. Let's keep it date for next time, all right? Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.